Hey, this is Anthony's Rebs. Let's see if you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new speed and strength cruise missile boot available at Rebzilla.com. Great new addition to the Speed and Strength line, a crossover boot to be ridden in many different riding styles. This is the Cruise Missile, natural leather finish. It's gonna be top grain leather. Notice it's mid-height construction, and it's very reasonable, just over that $100 mark. Now, it does come in black only, and you're gonna see the way it's designed is gonna be comfortable for bike nights, for rocking your V-twin with a pair of jeans over it. And again, they didn't shank the sole, which is one of the things that's interesting to see from Speed and Strength, and that was based on rider feedback. A lot of guys have said, it needs to give me the coverage on my ride, so where I'm going, and then when I hang out all day or I'm off my bike chilling, it needs to be comfortable enough to walk around. So they really just kind of went for this dress boot on steroids tile feel, which actually I think there's a place for within the market. Now, quick note on fitment before we dive into the other nuance. Comes in sizes eight through 13. Remember, it's black only, and it's gonna be very American cut. No issues with width on this bad boy. It's not European. Anybody that's used to what a harness boot should feel like is gonna have a similar experience with the Cruise Missile from Speed and Strength. Remember, we ship for free over 39 bucks. Notice this finger goes up. It means click here, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the Cruise Missile boot. Now, diving back into the boot itself. Notice, a few dual stitched accents for stitching for style. This harness boot, and again, you're gonna see the ring on the harness is kind of this anodized black. It's subtle. As we go up the side, you're gonna notice there's some stretch baked in and it's going to have some leather on top of it so it's gonna cover that stretch panel and again, keep continuity in the style. Now, when I do look at it, it has some light reinforcement at the toe box, has some light reinforcement in the heel, but there's no protection at the ankle other than the leather that just goes all the way up. Again, over that $100 mark, I'm gonna nitpick here. I wish I had a little bit of baked in protection, but that's a decision that I don't think is gonna break it for a guy that's looking at this boot, because again, he's looking for more of a lightweight crossover boot that's gonna look good as well. I do like that they speed and strength embossed this strap here, but you really don't see it. That's what I like about it. I like that it's murdered out, it's black, it's got a great casual style to it. There are a lot of guys that wanna look like they're just rocking a sleek, moto boot, but they don't want it to be fully branded. Now, if we move along to the inside, you're gonna see a snap at the top, anodized YKK zipper that goes down from the bottom, and it opens it up, and you're gonna notice it's basic mesh on the interior. It's gonna wick sweat away, it's gonna be comfortable. Again, it's meant to be comfortable and almost feel athletic on the inside, but from the outside, it's gonna look beefy, gnarly, and for lack of a better term, badass. Now, if we look at the, let me snap this guy down. If we look at the sole, you're gonna see you have that nice big raised sole in the back, great heel, it's a great style. I wear a lot of boots like this. It looks great under a pair of jeans. Reminds me of a fry boot. And if we look at the sole here too, it's a non-slip sole. It's gonna be rubberized. Again, very flexible because it's not shanked, but you're not standing on the pegs, so it matters a little bit less. So remember, the rest of this Speed and Strength line has a handful of boots right in that sub-150, $100 to $150 range. Check them all out, they all have unique flavors. They were going for comfort and style on this bad boy, and I think I hit the, they hit the mark, although I think they could beef up the protection and hide it just a little bit more on the next iteration, whenever that may come. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the Cruise Missile Boot at Revzilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we're gonna ship for free, and if you wanna talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new cruise missile boot. I'm Anthony. Subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time.